across. Uh, the game ended up getting a little chippy out there, and he ended up getting a couple of fouls. Uh, other Magic, just, uh, just a rough team? Uh, no, I think it was a couple of things that went on behind the referee's back at times, so a couple of them chippy between one or two of the players and myself. But uh, I talked to the referee afterwards and said it was game management decisions that he had to calm the game down. If he didn't call it at the point, then things would have blown up a little bit worse. So I think it was probably the right decision at the end. My question is for you, McDonald. Um, I we kind of talked about this earlier, but how you're saying how it was so back and forth throughout the entire game. Your goal kind of changed the mood a little bit. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean we were within two, three the whole time, and, and we got a goal right before mine, and we got mine, and we got a couple more. And I think those, those goals kind of changed the momentum for everybody. And, we realized we were, we were putting some passes together and we, we could just end the game pretty quickly. But it came back again and we responded pretty well, so it was good. Alright, then we got one for uh, Simon. Uh, you're one of three players that had two goals in the night and the other two are sitting right next to you. Uh, how do you do it out there uh, playing against such a competitive team? Do I say that last uh, How do you do it out there uh, playing against such a competitive team? Just, uh, I mean, as a team effort, we I can't wait. probably had another gear in us throughout the whole game. We, we, we played well, but we know we could do a lot better. But, uh, you know, the, the goals, you're only as good as the guys that are, like, are setting you up. So uh, it's a team thing, and uh, I thought we did enough to win the game. But like I said, I think we can do, we can do better. I guess this is for kind of whoever wants to answer. Um, you guys are guaranteed to spot in the playoffs. You have two more games, and you're guaranteed to spot at home. How does that, you know, how, how important that is that for you all going into the playoffs? Uh, could you repeat the question? <laughs> Again, okay. How important is it for you to be playing at home for a playoff game? It's definitely important because we haven't lost at home yet. Uh, what are we, five or six in a at home? So uh, I think if we keep that momentum going, uh, especially having a home game is really easier on us. It's going to happen. With indoor, you never know if it's going to be a win or a loss of ways. Helps out in the crowd behind the yeah. ball. They're really, they're really helping us out. Like I'm next to me, to be, piggyback off of that, um, can you kind of talk about how important the crowd is and how, you know, when they get loud, what do you feel inside? It's, like, it just gives you a lift when we score and the crowd really get into it. It's, yeah. It gives you a lift, it gives you a buzz. And, uh, it's happened a lot this season where we score and then straight away we score again. So. Um, they, like I said, they were like extra characters and all this, it really helps with that. Yeah. Right, I got another question from Corey. Uh, you were injured for a while this year, but uh, come back into good form. Uh, how does it feel to get back out of the pitch? Uh, it feels awesome because it's so sad to actually sit on the bench and have to watch your friends play and not be able to play. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy to be back. Yeah. 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 Thank you. All right, this is another question that's kind of for whoever. You all have some key wins, but you also have some key losses, and you also lost some key players, JT and Charlie. How does that kind of affect the team chemistry, how you mesh on the field, and how is that going to affect you moving forward? Uh, I think with indoor, I mean, we have different guys going on road trips with different guys playing each time. We have guys who stepped up. I mean, Corey was on the bench for a while. He stepped up and scoring goals. I mean, it's it's tough, but yeah, then again, you have guys that can step up and play. I mean, we have guys that didn't play tonight that can step in at any time they want and, and have a contribution. So I think we'll be okay as long as training goes well and, and everybody does a good job. Okay, just one more question. Uh, da, 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 da. How do you plan to train throughout the next week in preparation for uh, another game against the Vortex? This is for anybody. Just the uh, same as what we've been doing. We've been working hard all season and training. Uh, that doesn't change. We, we come out on Tuesday and, uh, and we put another shift there and, and just prepare like we have been doing. We've got really good set of guys, really good team camaraderie going on and uh, well, nothing really changed or shouldn't change just because we're approaching the end of the season we've got to keep doing the stuff that we've been doing all year. Do you want to add anything any of you all add about your performance tonight or the next two games? Yeah. 
I don't know. Like I said earlier, I thought we did we did well again. We did enough to win the game. But I think I think we all know that we can we can do better. I think with another gear. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We'll we'll show that next week. We'll do that next week. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you for your time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you at Molly's. Yeah, I was there. Better Molly's.